Hello grade six, just wanted to do a quick review of adding with base 10 blocks for whole numbers and show you how that relates to adding for two decimals uh, with three decimal places. So here on my screen, you can see that I have some base 10 blocks and they're in a nice place value mat. Um, and this should be really familiar to you. So when we had these in class, we would make numbers like 100 and let's say 77 and we would add a number to that below it. So this is a three digit number, uh, let's see, 176, 177. So here's my number down here. And let's say to that number, I wanted to add 208. So I don't have any tens. I'm just gonna do some ones, five, six. Okay, so this looks pretty familiar to you. When we were adding whole numbers, we would always start by adding the ones first, then we add the tens and we add the hundreds and we do our regrouping where necessary. And so we have 15 ones. And so 10 of those we'll put into a 10 rod. And you'll see that when we, there it is, there's the 10. And so we'll have uh, 385. So there's three hundredths, and then the seven tenths plus one from the ones and five ones left over after bundling. And so our answer is 385. This should be very familiar to you. And I don't, ex I know you're probably thinking this is really easy and you don't need to see it. So. But what I am going to show you now is how using this knowledge helps you to add uh, decimal numbers. So we're going to get rid of what's up here. And so instead of this being 100 and this being 10 and this being 1, we're going to change the value. So in the work that you're doing last week, we made that little tiny block actually worth a thousandth. So there it is. So instead of being a 1, that's a thousandth. The hundreds is a hundredth is a rod and a tenth is the big flat piece. And if we had a hole, it would be the big thousand block, which unfortunately isn't in this, this mat. Um, and so now I can still model adding numbers using base 10 blocks. So let's say I wanted to add zero decimal three, eight. So there's my point three and there's my eight hundredths. So I'll put them in there. And you can see my numbers being built on the equation kind of to the bottom right there. 0 0.38 and I'll just put one in there. So there's 0 0.381. And to that, I'm going to add uh, 0 0.125. And just like we did with our whole numbers, we're going to start by adding the smallest values first. So we'll add our thousandths first and we'll have six thousandths, then we add our hundredths, and if I count them all up, I actually have 10, and so we'll bundle them up and put them in the tenths. And what it looks like an equation is, is making sure that the thousandths are lined up so that we can add the same size pieces together, that the hundredths are lined up and the tenths are lined up. And when I do that, this is the number, and here is our sum. <coughs> There's the 10 that would be bundled, and we would have five of these. There wouldn't be anything left here. And these would be six. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Um, sometimes it can be confusing because you might have numbers that ha are zero. So let's say that we had um, 0.912. So it's going to take me a minute to get all nine of these in here. And it's hard for you to see them, but they are there. Okay, nine. There you go. You can trust me. Let's say I had nine of those, just one of those and two of these, so it's 0.912. And let's just say I'm adding 0.3 to that. So 0.912 plus 0 0.3. You can see what they do here um, to make it more organized and to keep it simple and ensure that everything's lined up. They just represented that there's nothing after this. It doesn't change the value of it, it's just that it's zero. And you can see that they have the decimal nicely lined up. And so if you add that together, quite simply, you should have two of these, one of these, and we'll have 12 of these. So they'd actually bundle up to a big thousand block if we could see it. Um, and then we'd get 1.212. So very quick overview of adding decimals. Hopefully you remember that from last year. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add uh, without the base 10 blocks. So stay tuned for the next one.